It was always on the cards that Robert Lee would make his debut in this North East derby, but Borough manager Lenny Lawrence was hoping it would be in Middlesbrough colours, not the black and white of Newcastle. But Kevin Keegan's dramatic transfer snatch would give just one extra twist to the intense rivalry that always supercharges these occasions. Friends Carr, a goal hero on Saturday, makes way for the £700,000 signing. Newcastle have a man for every occasion, it seems. Nicky Quinn steps back into the starting lineup in place of Gavin Peacock, who again has a hamstring injury. Whichever way Keegan shuffles his pack, he seems to come up with a winning formula. Paul Wilkinson will relish the challenge more than most. He scored the only goal at St James Park on Boxing Day when the Borough completed an impressive double over their Tyneside rivals back in Division 2 days. In fact, Middlesbrough have very definitely had the upper hand in Tyne Tees derbies recently, including a League Cup victory over two legs a couple of years ago. The present Borough squad looking to continue that run includes young Jamie Pollock in midfield, still replacing the injured Andy Peake. Referee David Allison from Lancaster. So it's Middlesbrough in red who kick off attacking the goal to our left in this first leg of this two-leg affair. Middlesbrough sixth in the Premier Division, Newcastle in the form of their lives, but under pressure here in the opening minute. And that ball from Tommy Wright flashing right across the face of the other Tommy Wright's goal. Tommy Wright, the signing from Leicester there, wide on the left. Giving Tommy Wright, the goalkeeper from Linfield, who's forced his way into the team. Just a little anxiety in the opening minutes. Newcastle, of course, played 7-1-7 seven, seven in the league. And so full of confidence but now facing a Premier Division challenge from the rivals just down the A19. And as we said in the build-up to this game, Middlesbrough have developed a habit of upsetting the odds against Newcastle, who will forget that epic game down at Ayrton Park when Borough pulled out their best to keep themselves in Division 2 and send promotion chasing Newcastle into the playoffs and ultimately to disappointment. And Newcastle have started at a ferocious pace in all their games at St James Park so far this season with Lee Clark, the number 10 there, in tremendous form. Already he's won the Barclays Young Eagle for the region's Young Player of the Month. But it's Ian Ironside who collects that one. You know, I'm side who was signed from Scarborough for 80,000 as cover for Stephen Pears. He's finding himself back tonight because Brian Horn, who's been on loan from Millwall, was not given clearance. Wilkinson got up to that one. Kevin Sheedy will find Beresford, Sheedy and Beresford, who worked together so well down that left-hand touchline for Newcastle. And over comes Alan Kernaghan. And Kernaghan, the borough skipper, can knock that one forward only as far as Howie. Now, Beresford. Beresford again. Good work by Newcastle down that left flank, trying to open up something. You can really expect Middlesbrough to hold on to what they've come with. Two legs, remember, which can have such a bearing on the tactics in these sort of games. But it's Newcastle with Beresford knocking the ball in. Came through for Quinn, did it? Not quite. Middlesbrough closed ranks. Venison pushing the ball forward. This is the new boy. Not a bad little first touch as well. And still Newcastle keep it going. Liam O'Brien knocked away there by White. And that was well read. Now Middlesbrough, John Hendry. And looking for Wilkinson. The ball hit rather too far ahead of him. Ricky Quinn taking that one in his stride. 
exhibition of a handball, but the referee waving play on. It's wide for Robert Lee. Kelly was further across, but now it's Wilkinson, the other number nine. That's a good ball to Chris Morris in the right back position. Already we're seeing a high quality of passing from these two teams. Beresford. Sheedy. And Kelly. A nice little layoff there. Kelly from back into the middle if the ball can get delivered. And this is Robert Lee. Fires one in. And Phillips nearly lost his bearings. And he suddenly lost possession there by conceding the corner kick. Well, Robert Lee only really met his new teammates this morning for a bit of light training and preparation for this game. And he certainly seems to have fitted in with some confidence in these opening minutes. Wilkinson back there, making sure every black and white shirt is marked. Lofted in by Sheedy. But Ironside will go up for that one. And Ironside under pressure. And Middlesbrough under pressure here. Over comes the corner again. Ironside's come out for it. Hasn't totally got hold of it. And Middlesbrough can get it away this time. Derek White. And Beresford had come across the cover. And that's a good ball for Kevin Scott to keep the momentum going Scott forward there for Kelly Ironside committed Kelly brings it back Mickey Quinn and away by Morris and it could still be loose and Clark denied and Middlesbrough really under the cost there and still they haven't got the ball clear and the referee has pulled play back there it was Ian Ironside's keenness to get off his line that created that opening. Mickey Quinn looking to make the most of it, but the cover was there and the danger was clear. It's Newcastle who had the free kick now. Everyone ahead of Beresford apart from his keeper. And Kelly... Oh, somehow, somehow that one stayed out. David Kelly must have thought that one was in the back of the net. Most of the Gallagher end behind him were up and dancing there in celebration. Kelly just nipped in there over Ironside. He got a touch to it and off the underside of the bar and just escaped. And Kelly could not have come closer then. Alan Kernaghan towards Wilkinson. Nice little flick there looking for Tommy Wright. Hooked away by Howie. Quinn underneath it. Quinn got to it first. Phillips can bang the ball forward for Wilkinson to scrap for it. And Middlesbrough have got some players in here. They're waiting for it. And Hendry nearly had the chance to put Middlesbrough ahead against his old club there. Him and Wright seem to be waiting for the ball to fall most conveniently. Hendry eventually had the go. But Tommy Wright just did enough. 